Welcome back. Thanks for watching. This is a wild story. An Arizona woman saved by a post-it after she's abducted by a guy posing as an Uber driver, apparently, in this van that you're looking at. At a gas station, the woman managed to slip this note to a fellow customer, alerting this person she had been abducted. Police tracked down the car and the driver and arrested him. Turns out he's a person of interest in a separate kidnapping case as well. So, Katie, this happened in Arizona. So let's go to the Arizona gal here. Uh, very, very scary. Good for this woman yeah, for potentially terrifying. saving her own life by taking some agency in the moment. And thank goodness the other person didn't think it was a prank. The other person yeah. actually picked up the phone and made that fateful and important phone call. Yeah, I mean, it's terrifying to think this could happen. This is why Uber encourages people to make sure you match the license plate with the vehicle. You know, you have the driver ask you what your name is so that they don't know your name. They won't be able to get you in the car. Um, but things like this do happen. And so for this woman to be able to get out of it without having any harm done to her outside, of course, the mental implications of something like this happening to you um, is huge. And the fact that she helped get this suspect arrested and now we know that they are a suspect in another kidnapping, uh, will help the sheriff's department with that as well. So glad that she's safe, but you really got to check and make sure you get into the right car. And, and if she thought this was an Uber driver, her Uber driver, that means she had her cell phone when she got into the car, but clearly something happened because she's not using her cell phone to go for help. So it showed that she really had to have some quick thinking about what to do. Maybe taking it from her. Maybe she's right. too scared, yeah. And if, can we put up on the screen again the note itself? Because what I'm also impressed with by this potential victim is some of the presence of mind here, a direct action, call 911, and then describing the vehicle and also the destination. This wasn't just, hey, I'm in trouble, help me. It really laid some breadcrumbs, Griff, for someone to then do the right thing and help her. I'm just impressed overall by what this woman was able to do. Yeah, and law enforcement gets a little kudos here, too. I mean... She put in there going towards Kingman, Las Vegas, and that's what they needed. That was the moment. I, you know, I've spent so much time riding along with uh, the Texas DPS along the border in a different situation. But, you know, I've got videos bailing out, chasing. And, and you realize uh, very quickly when we've chased down smugglers, it's oftentimes a tip. Like, oh, we saw a blue Honda, whatever, such and such road. And these tips that are coming in from people that, you know, work with Texas DPS, when they give that, that detail that law enforcement needs, time is of the essence. Clearly, time would have been of the essence with this woman, and she gets an A++. Hopefully, she gets more than two drinks after <laughs> she gets rescued uh, afterwards. But, you know, this is a real lesson for everyone to listen to this segment, to hear that should ever you get into a situation and you have a very minimal way to put a note to law enforcement, give the most prescient details that can make a difference with respect to time. Well, and just to give a few more details about what happened here, uh, this woman was abducted from a car, car dealership in the Phoenix area. The Uber driver, pretending to be an Uber driver, was wearing a wig, and yeah, then he then restrained the victim with zip ties. Well, on the way to Las Vegas and spent the night in Lake Mead Park and multiple firearms were found by the sheriff's department once they uh, found this person. So clearly got in the car, pulled over, restrained the woman and then allowed her to go to the restroom and then she was able to hand that note over. So it's like something out of a movie, Molly. And it's also a reminder that human trafficking does happen. Absolutely. You mentioned the border. Yes. A lot of human trafficking across the yeah, border. A lot of human trafficking. Else. I mean, not a lot, but, you know, it happens and people should be aware. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.